Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. I got a brand new paddle to review, the new Ace Diamond. If you watch my channel, you know that I love new technology and kind of outside the box thinking. Well, Ace has done that with the diamond by making a 10 millimeter aramid core. So if you think of Kevlar, Kevlar is a para-aramid variety. So this paddle should be very stiff. The ball should come off of here very quickly. So I'm excited to get out and try this paddle. Some of the knowns, it is 16 and a half inches long, seven and a half inches wide, five and a half inch long handle with a four and a quarter inch circumference. It does have the T700 textured carbon fiber face that we've all come to know and love, but the core should make a big difference. The ball should just fly off of here. Another oddity about this paddle is it only weighs 7.27 ounces. That is really light for me. I have no idea what to expect with this paddle. Head it out to the courts right now. I hope you're out there so you can try it with me. The new Ace Diamond. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, back. Just spent the last few weeks with the new Ace Diamond Paddle. I didn't really know what to expect going into this. Took it out the first couple of times. And it really, at 7.3 ounces, really lacked the mass, the plow through, to give it the performance that I thought it might have. So brought it back to the house, threw some lead tape on here. Didn't change the balance point of the paddle, but I got it up to 7.8 ounces, which changes the swing weight and the plow through, took it back out to the courts, and this paddle really came alive. It did some really cool things. 
you wouldn't think of a thin paddle necessarily of having great accuracy, but this paddle does. You can kind of put this paddle wherever you want. As long as you're using correct form, the results are gonna be there. You're gonna hit your spots. The power, with once again, all this comes after I bump the, bump the weight up to 7.8 ounces. The power was there. The average miles per hour was right at 50, and that's really good for me. I was kind of shocked. But this paddle with the Aramid Core really kind of comes to life. This paddle also had great spin. That kind of shocked me a little as well. The original Ace paddle, the Ace Spade, it had a ton of spin. So I think they used that same principle with this and the spin is just tremendous. I didn't know if the Aramid kind of Kevlar Core, if the ball would bounce off so fast that there wouldn't be spin, but this paddle really spins. Very easy to maneuver, get around at the net for fast hands. It's got a really good size sweet spot for a thin paddle. It's fairly large, not huge, but fairly large. And it really responds well if you get it in that sweet spot. Now, the things this paddle doesn't do well and you notice immediately is if you get outside that sweet spot, the ball doesn't do anything and this paddle just vibrates. It is really a harsh feel when you get it outside that sweet spot. Consequently, the forgiveness is not there at all either. Once again, it just, if, if you don't hit it exactly right, this paddle doesn't do near what you want it to do. Also, as far as a negative, this paddle is 209 US. That seems a little pricey, but in the right hands, this paddle could do some cool things. But I'm gonna put that as a negative in there. And also the weight for me at 7.3 ounces, actually came in a little under 7.3 ounces. That made this paddle just really, it just didn't stand up to a lot of other paddles. And, and paddles seem to be going a little bit heavier and I know a lot of us throw lead tape on there to make them even heavier. This paddle coming at 7.3 just really did a disservice to this a little bit. This paddle does have game though, and I, and I really am proud of Ace for trying something new and trying to, this is really kind of out, just way off the charts thinking here because, you know, throwing a different core in there, which I know a lot of other companies are looking at that as well trying to go a little bit thinner. They, I, they actually tried to go lighter. They tried to do all these things and that just puts it kind of in a different kind of realm. And I think that's a cool thing. And I'm proud of Ace for trying this. It does a lot of things well. It was fun to hit. It just, the negatives kind of really came to light if, if, you, if you miss that sweet spot at all. Now, if you hit the sweet spot relatively often and keep that ball there, you can also hear it sounds like kind of like a dinner plate when you hit it. Um, you really, you got the response you wanted. It was just tough to keep it in that sweet spot and in that right zone all the time. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. As always, let me know if you've tried this paddle. The Spade was a pretty good paddle. I, 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 I'm really proud of Ace for trying something new here. So let me know if you've tried this paddle. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. I'm gonna be back with more content very soon. Get out there and play. All right, Ace Diamond. I just can't get this paddle where I really want.